Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Neymar here and welcome to my tourist tutorial. So how will this work? Well, I will do a tourist playthrough. I will play relatively fast, but I will try to tell you all the important information and show you the methods how to keep yourself nice and safe as a tourist. Tourist is like way harder than hunter and farmer, but it's not really that bad if you know what you're doing. It's a pretty nice way to learn how to treat wounds right on the start of the game and it is also a nice challenging character while not being too hard there's some bad things here like uh, you have obesity, gluttonous, bleeding, pale skin, weak immune system, back attractant, and short sighted. These uh, are kind of detrimental. There's also macaque curse, I guess, but uh, they are not super bad. But anyway, let's start. We start with a plane crash, though, which is just amazing. Mm, your best friend. Like this, this alone makes it way easier in some ways than the perkless run. Anyhow, let's start and let's talk about what you need to do to survive here. So we crashed. We slowly open our eyes. It all starts coming back to us. Your plane crashed. You don't feel well and you seem to be bleeding. You need to act immediately if you want any chances at survival. Wait a moment. Is that the makaki holding your belt bag over there? Yes, it is. And it's running away now. Your passport isn't there. Well, we don't really care about our passport, do we? We have bigger problems right now. So we have an arm laceration and two abrasions. Uh, this thing is bleeding a lot and you need to find a bandage. It's going to be inside the this uh, first aid kit here. Put one on there immediately. You can put another one on the abrasion. It's going to help heal it faster, I think. For now, that's all what we're going to need. You can grab some painkillers if you want. Painkillers will remove the pain and it will give keep your morale fine. Or you can just, you know, decide to uh, like tough it out. For a first couple of days, go depressed and all that stuff and keep the painkillers for a little bit later when they'll actually be useful. I will suggest not to waste them at the start because pain is just way too much right now and you will just waste them and you will not achieve much. Right, so first thing we're going to need is we will need a... Um, okay, let's pin the bug bar though. Let's find that thing. So bugs will be your biggest enemies in this playthrough. You have to keep this thing from not going over this line approximately here. I'll try to keep it like way under that if possible. If it does pass that, you're gonna get camp fever and it's gonna be nasty. But you start with enough antibiotics to take care of it, so it's not really a deadly threat. Anyhow, we also start with a whole bunch of clothes. We start with some chocolates. Uh, do we start... We actually start with a backpack as well, so that's pretty good. Okay, and some sunscreen. Okay, let's drink the water. No, let's wait. Let's solve the immediate issues first. Gonna go outside. We need to find some sticks for the tourniquet. Exploration takes 30 minutes because we are a beast. You might get lucky, you might not. We got super lucky here. Doesn't matter though. It takes a while to bleed out. So if you go under your blood pressure here, uh, once this... Uh, so once this blood pressure reaches zero you will die so this is how much we lost in like the little time we explored out there uh, then next step you will need some clothes you can grab uh, somebody's unlucky man's underwear and rip off the clothes from there and you're gonna get some cloth. and then you can combine these two to make a tourniquet there we go and our blood pressure is like relatively low now if you want to lose weight faster you might want to let this drop a little bit more but i feel like it's super ga gamey so if you go to your obesity you will see that low blood pressure will actually reduce your weight so if you're a really big fan of exploring and you want to start exploring as fast as possible you can let this thing go down a little bit more i think it's like a crazy idea so probably not do it anyhow uh, we're gonna put this lovely tourniquet on arm laceration and it will stop the bleeding uh, fully. And then we can use our wound dressing to put it there. There we go. So now we're covered. For now, uh, we are fine being hungry. If we want to be hungry, we want to lose our appetite. So we can free up time to do other stuff. And we have like this huge belly of reserves. So we're gonna be using that to like survive. Anyway. Uh, we will want to go and explore to find some resources. So we're going to be doing that next. Okay, let's put that in there, I guess. Pin this thing down. Keep everything nice in the luggage so the monkeys can't grab it. 
uh, go outside and uh, okay let's see we are hot but we can't do much about that let's find some water and stuff right okay uh, keep an eye out on your bug bites bar here as you explore don't overdo it kind of important so we're gonna need some stones for a campfire like four actually Oh, a partridge. I'm gonna ignore it for now. Right, we're unlocking stuff. Yeah, we should definitely go and like research something though. So let's start with a shelter, I guess. Let's see what else do we have here. A splint, we don't need that yet. Uh, enclosure, yeah, I guess that's all right. But anyway, just explore, uh, just research everything in order in the way you think you might need it. Uh, I don't have priorities right now. Right, so we're super hungry, leave it that way. When you have to take a rest, go inside and take a breather. Always rest inside. Always do whatever you can inside. Don't do it outside because outside the bugs will get you and we don't want bug bites because of the camp fever. Camp fever is a really nasty fever. It takes like seven days to fully heal from it. It will take a lot of, you know, resources to manage, okay. Okay, so we got some nerf damage here. This thing, you want to avoid it if you can. Uh, so this thing will slowly heal when we remove the tourniquet. So let's go inside and remove it. Uh, there we go. If you check the wound now, it, it's coagulated. So the coagulation will take care of the half of the bleeding here. And the other half, you deal with the bandage. We don't have enough bandages for both abrasions right now. If you want... And I would probably say it's like a decent idea. You should go locate another pair of, pair of shorts and uh, make yourself a bandage here. There we go. So now these things should heal faster as well. Okay. Uh, store our tourniquet for later use. And uh, we are like ravenous right now. It's going to be really bad for our morale. But we are like, what else are we going to do, right? It's like, we need to lose some weight. Okay. Right, so we found some water. You can use this uh, puddle here to collect and boil the water. Uh, you start with a handy water bottle. There we go. Which you can drink out of. And then you can collect some more water there. You will need to make a fire though if you want to boil it. So let's go inside. Uh, you can make the campfire inside or outside. Inside, if you make it inside, things will be pretty hot. Uh, but it's better to have it inside than outside because of the bugs outside. So, okay. Right, so let's make the fire. Uh, I'm gonna take 30 minutes to prepare it. That's fine. Uh, you can also find four stones and make a proper campfire, but uh, it's a little harder to make and well, it's gonna take a little bit longer, but it works. You should probably find enough stones fast enough before the bugs actually become a problem. We're a little bit dirty, not super dirty, so it's okay. You can see the bacteria fever going up here, but we can't really see what it is at. Uh, let me see something though. Maybe there is a stat where we can see something. Internal. Okay, we can see the fever here. So this thing you want to keep down. And you keep it down by keeping the bacteria down. But I don't think you can track your bacteria. So it's going to be a little bit of guesswork. Right now though, there is no reason to have bacteria. Because like we are... Um, we have our wounds covered. They have a little bit bacteria on it, but nothing super crazy. So anyhow, anyhow, let's feed this bad boy up. So to start the fire here, we will going to need some fibers. You can get that from the snake grass patch. Uh, right. And we will need, like for a moment, I was like, is this still raising? Didn't I take my tourniquet off? And I did. Right. But again, go inside as fast as you can. Keep your eye out on... Oh, I see. This is the thing, right? Just slowly heal. Okay. So we have a little bit of nerve damage. Not sure if this actually affects our actions a lot. No, our actions are being uh, influenced by arm lacerations, so... Anyhow, let's get some fibers. And now once you have some fibers, you can use that to start the fire. You will need a fire maker though. 
So let's go and make one. Hand drill. There we go. We're going to need a crafting tool. So it's going to be like a knife or a sharp, sharp stone. We do start with a knife though. So let's find it. Uh, make sure your food doesn't like spoil though. So even though you want to lose some weight and be ravenous for a little bit, don't overdo it. We're also like a little bit overheating. So we're going to go and wash ourselves here. There we go. I'm going to go and grab another one. There. Good. And yeah, let's start the fire so we can boil some water. Uh, we don't have to do it right now. Just make sure this thing doesn't empty and you'll be fine. Like uh, tomorrow, uh, there's going to be a rain. So get ready for that. So what you can do is you can go and make some clay bowls so you can actually store some, some water in those. So I would definitely suggest doing that. Uh, we're going to need to dig up some mud for it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, early days will suck. Don't worry too much about it. Just make sure the bug bites don't get you. Then go inside, make some clay. Uh, unlock the clay bowl and learn how to make it. So we're going to be using these for water storage for a little bit. Uh, you can make the clay bowls on the fire pit. So that's all good. Right. Uh, okay, make some more. Okay, and we'll probably need some more resources. Uh, we're getting a little bit super stressed out. So this is because we didn't take our painkillers and stuff. So we're like, dude, this life sucks. Why do we have to tough it out like this? Ah, oh, well. <laughs> it, it will be worth it in the long run. It will be worth it in the long run. Once the wounds heal, you'll be very happy to have some painkillers instead in case you get bitten by a monkey and something. Speaking of monkeys, do store your... Uh, put this thing up there and store all your most important stuff in it. You don't want monkeys to get anything, really. Not sure what they can grab. So pretty sure they can grab a hand drill, so that's in there. Knife, keep the knife safe, keep the water safe. Anyhow, we should have enough. Let's go grab a little bit more fuel, I think. Uh, yeah, bug bites are still all right-ish. So 45 minutes to explore here. And I think this will be our last exploration. Okay, let's check the bug bites. Right, so this is still relatively safe, but it's getting close. <laughs> a little bit too close for comfort, in my opinion. Anyhow, let's uh, uh, remove that. And this thing, yeah, it will heal. It shall heal. So I, I left the tourniquet on for a little bit too long, but that's okay. Remove it after two hours or so, I would say. Right, uh, let's feed the fire a little bit more and let's start fi some fire so we can start boiling some water. Oh, we also start with a fuel jerry can. You can use this for water storage also. Yeah, that's actually a really good water storage. Uh, once we use up the fuel, we're going to use this fuel on it and I'm going to use that. Tourist starts with so much stuff. It's kind of legendary, isn't it? Anyhow, let's do this thing. Okay. So now we know how to make clay balls. Let's go and research something else we might need in the future. Probably not that, but there's not much unlocked right now. So, okay. Right, and let's go and make some clay balls. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to need these and how many we'll need, but I'll make them anyway, just in case. So we can have a little bit more water stored than usual. Uh, speaking of water, let's start boiling the water so uh, we don't die out of thirst tonight. Right, and we are kind of sleepy also, so we're gonna need to sleep. But let's uh, let's make one of these. Okay, so the water is boiled. Take it out. Wait for it to uh, cool down. I'm gonna drink it. Uh, okay, we're gonna fire this thing up, and let's make another one. Actually, let's go and sleep. So first night, we're going to sleep on the floor. Four hours, 30 minutes, we're probably going to get waked up by, well, thirst and, yeah, and the stress. But that's fine. We're going to go and drink. I'm going to go grab some more. So we have enough water now so we can survive this thing. It's like super hot right now. You can just go and wash yourself if you like, but I'm not going to do it. Let's make another bowl. 
And actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's go and ha try to get that sleep in. Good. Okay. And then go and boil that water. And while that's boiling, we can go and wash. So we're gonna grab some water here. Like, we're like burning up right now. We're super overheating. That's because this campfire is like really hot and all that stuff. Right. Uh, make another bowl. Okay. This thing's boiling. Okay. Let's get that one going. And once this chills down, we can use it. So yeah, things are like going a little bit crazy right now. So we could take our first painkiller, I guess, before things spiral out of control. Yeah, maybe. We can also eat. So the chicken sandwich is going to spoil anyway if you don't eat it. So let's eat it. And the rain started. So that's pretty good. There we go. So I'm going to drink the water here. And we're going to start collecting some more here. Wonderful. And once this thing is done, we're going to collect even more from there. So yeah, things will get a little bit better now. Now, the rain is really good time to explore because there are no bugs during the rain. So... I would definitely suggest to explore right now. I will go and grab one painkiller here though. There we go. So this thing will help with morale. It will help to get you out of depression, distress you a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, dehydration is not helping our problem here. What you can do is like, you can just drink so this is the way you can drink some little bit of rain. Three minutes for 17. Not the most efficient thing, so you probably want to wait instead. Right, let's store this thing up again. And let's go outside and explore a little bit while we're waiting for our water sources to fill up. Okay, we learned about our first trap. You might want to do that. Maybe not. We'll see. All right. And now this will be more worth it. So let's do it. I'm going to collect some more. Good. Okay, we're a little bit hungry again, so I'm gonna eat a chocolate now. We're gonna do it again. It's fast, so we can do it outside. Right, explore some more, find some more resources. Obesity obviously doesn't help, but it is what it is. Right, I'm gonna let the monkey be. It's not gonna take anything. We don't want another wound right now. Okay, let's take this thing out, collect. Okay, we're gonna get rid of the dehydration now. So that's definitely gonna help with the morale. And we can actually fuel the fire here. And we're gonna fill this thing up here. There. And we're gonna boil it. And our water problems are solved. Right. Not the cleanest of starts. Okay, we can unpin this thing. You can see the bug bar is like non-existent our stress is going down because we took some analgetics and also the comforts reducing it but only if you're inside as soon as we go outside the problems will start again uh, i'm gonna explore because it's raining and rain is pretty good time to actually explore okay so this thing is nice and boiled and now i think i'm actually gonna turn this thing off so we don't waste resources uh let's see i have two water things i think between these three we're gonna have enough water storage well these four and well definitely definitely gonna hold these things in hand and store the rest because i don't want the monkey to grab it okay okay let's take a little bit of a break our morale is like okay -ish. nothing super crazy when i eat our last chocolate here Right, and now once we ate all of everything that spoils, uh, we're gonna start eating stuff that, oh, wait, I see, so one more. Oh, we have quite a few more, okay. If you can always eat when your food is almost empty, so that was not optimal. Let's check our obese stat, yeah. So we want this thing to go down. It will go down, don't worry about it. Anyhow, let's go grab some more stuff. So we're gonna want some snake grass. And this is actually a good time to grab some more clay if you like, because the, the rain keeps refilling the, the water pond. So if you want to dig up some mud, now would be a good time to do it. Uh, and then you can prepare the clay for the stove. And um, yeah. Okay. Uh, right, right. Okay. Let's turn this thing off and grab charcoal and ash. You can use ash 
as tinder and it's as a temper and it's like pretty good actually so i'm gonna be doing that a little bit here and i'm gonna use that to make bricks and we're actually gonna build a stove stove's gonna be way better than fire because it's not gonna be as hot right uh, let's top up our food meat i mean our water meter here there we go good and let's go explore some more or grab some more resources yeah let's do the the mud while it's raining I feel like a lot like exploring right now anyway. It's like pretty long actions. Maybe be a balance between these two. I don't know. We need some like... We need some stuff to feed the fire also. Now. You might be worried about this whole exploring while it's raining kind of thing. Uh, so if you go here, you're going to see that you're chilled. Now being chilled will raise hypothermia, but not enough to actually make you like sick or anything like that. You can see bacteria fever here. Uh, it's actually... Uh, bacteria is actually increasing the fever. So we might have some bacteria in our body. We cannot check how much. We might have some. Because we are cold and our morale is non-existent, so we are very prone to getting sick. But that's okay. If we get sick, we get sick. It's not the end of the world. We have like six antibiotics. So don't worry too much about it. We will need to like start filling our belly a little bit here, but I'm going to explain soon how to do that. Anyway, uh, you might want to invest into an axe as well, so you can get access to some of these trees. Uh, hand actions are not really great right now while this arm is healing, so... This two will heal soon, so that will reduce a lot of pain. Okay, uh, let's see. So, let's do a little bit more exploration right now. Okay, another stone. A spider lily. Spider lily is going to be really good for you. It will let you uh, also help with a fever if you get it. Right. So, we're super hungry right now. What we're going to do is we're going to crush a snake grass and this will also level our herbology and start unlocking the the farming and you can eat this thing so if you're super hungry you can just eat a whole bunch of snake grass it's gonna help out and this thing doesn't have any calories in so this thing will actually uh, let you remove the obesity and um, and level up the farming okay we got another one of these ready uh, I'm going to let it be. Hopefully we don't have anything around. Okay, it took snake grass seeds. Okay, that's fine though. It's not ideal, but it's okay. Anyway, let's turn the fire off again. Let's grab some charcoal and ash. Turn it back on. Yeah, it seems like our appetite is so huge. We cannot even scratch it with the snake grass. So we're going to stop for now, I think. Uh, we are a little bit tense and we are a little bit tired. So we could build a bed. A leaf bed, not sure if we need it. We'll see. Once our bed starts hurting, I'm gonna make it. Uh, right, and we're gonna need to fuel the fire. Now, fueling the fire is a little bit. Yeah, maybe this this thing maybe uses fire faster than the normal fire. It seems like it goes down super fast. So I'm actually thinking about being building the proper one. Anyhow, finding some more fuel for it might be beneficial. Uh, the the rain stopped, so you have to keep an eye out on the bug bites again. Okay, we got two wood sticks and a stone, so yeah, we could either make a proper campfire or start building a stove. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Right, a little bit stressed out. Yeah, energetic dose is running out. Everything sucks, we hate our life. But we are safe. Like nothing really bad can happen to us right now. Okay, let's store these two. Uh and let's go to sleep. We have plenty of food in our belly. We have plenty of water in the ponds outside and in the and in the uh, this thing. And yes, we might get a little bit depressed and stressed out, but hey, it's gonna go away. We're gonna recover from it. Anyhow, let's go and sleep. I guess that's the solution to everything, right? Our mental structure got a little bit damaged, and now we're also getting back pain because we're sleeping on the floor. We're so sad. Okay, ash dressing. That's going to be really good and useful. Anyhow, let's turn this thing off. Get some more charcoal and ash. Uh, of course, we would prefer to use sand instead of ash. But so this is how you make bricks. 
and we're gonna start working on that relatively soon here however it is a little bit hot so we will grab our water here and refresh ourselves this will keep uh, our water intake lower we're gonna let the monkey be for now there we go so we hit everything of value from it and let's go and actually build a proper campfire now i think we'll probably need it before we make the stove right let's see how hard would it be to make a stove let's take a mud pile and let's make a mud brick to check it out so we unlock the kiln and uh, do we actually know how to build a stove let's see we might need to build the kiln first though in that case if that's the case yeah we're gonna build a proper campfire okay okay and the wound dressing spoiled okay so now the wound is not protected i'm gonna put this one here uh we will make some ash dressing with ash and a piece of cloth and ash dressing is the best dressing in the game so we're gonna be using that the improvised dressing i will recover the cloth here there we go i'm gonna make another one there we go and i'm gonna put it there and okay now we have the proper campfire here not sure if it's better and how much better it is but i hope it is better right we started making bricks for eventual stove let's hit the materials though so the monkeys don't grab it right and yeah let's continue tracking make sure you're not overheating uh make sure you get plenty of water in your system there we go so we want to like stretch out our water supplies until the next rain well uh ideally okay keep an eye out on your bug bites bar and continue exploring now, exploring is pretty important we want to get to the beach we want to grab get to the coconuts it's gonna help us out the realization is bad you don't want this to race too much but at the start of the game the character is pretty resilient towards this kind of mental states so yeah keep losing your obesity and uh, don't eat that's what, that's my advice that's just how this character works now but do keep an eye out on the bug bites bar okay we are finding plenty of resources we actually find the dark cave dark cave has a replenishable water supply inside and once you find it you should be feeling pretty pretty comfortable i wouldn't advise using palm fronts on anything lazy like baskets or something you don't really need it early game here so we're just gonna dump it inside there right okay let's check out as soon as these abrasions heal i will take another painkiller because then the game uh, then the 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 pain will become manageable and we will be able to start being like more efficient in things we do yeah i don't think yeah let's actually continue crashing the snake grass just to level herbalism and i guess we will eat what we get okay so we got another rain uh, usually you will not be lucky to get rains like this back to back um i don't really need it but hey it's nice it's here i guess uh for the purposes of this tutorial i'm gonna stay inside some more here i'm gonna extract some fibers so you would like to go and use the advantage of this rain but uh, i'm gonna wait for bug bites to go down first yes i can go outside and explore during the rain but since you will not get it and since i am trying to make a tutorial here uh i will like not abuse the fact that we got like a rain back to back anyhow i'm going to feed this thing up that's pretty good i'm gonna start it in the evening get some more ash going like you can make some more bricks so while you're hiding from the box you can make some bricks uh yeah so let's do that there we go you can always crush some more snake grass in there okay the kiln is researched i guess we should start working on the kiln it kiln is a good building so we're gonna be working on it anything else nope okay let's see that okay the wound got healed so now we only have one wound so i'm gonna go and grab another painkiller here i think things are stable enough now uh actually we could like max it out yeah let's max it out good so now we should start like fully recovering here so with two painkillers 
There's gonna be no pain. There's gonna be hunger. That's obviously not good. Uh, and our obesity. Now, I'm not 100% sure, like, how long does it take to get rid of this. But at least the stress is going down, so that's good. Okay, let's go drink some more of the water. I'm not gonna be... If you get the rain like this, fill all your supplies up for sure. I'm not doing it because it's not the part of the tutorial, if you know what I mean. Okay... So we explored like two or three times. Bug bites are going down, but I think we would be able to like, even if it wasn't raining, to explore a little bit more. Okay, we got some more resources. Good. So the rain stopped, so we can continue with the tutorial now. <laughs> uh, right. Okay, good. Uh, we could start thinking about a little bit food. Yeah, I don't know. Let's wait for the obesity to go away first, I guess. Okay, let's go grab some more mud. Like, everything takes ages now because, like, we are in a bad shape. Uh, keep an eye on the bug bites bar. Yeah. And we're gonna need some more ash. Or, or fiber. Whatever you prefer. I think ash is more efficient. Because from one fiber you can get two ash. Okay. We are sleepy again. Uh, let's make... Something that's not going to make our bed hurt when we sleep. So it's going to be a bad leaf bed here. Okay, splint is researched. I think we're slowly and surely running out of things to research here. So let's do that, I guess. And let's go sleep. Good. Okay. Um, little bit of pain, little bit of heat. So we're gonna go and refresh ourselves a little bit here. Very painful washing session. <laughs> right, out of snake grass, we're gonna have to go and grab some more. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go and grab some more charcoal and ash. Good, and now we can use this ash to make some more bricks. This will be important to get the kiln going. Okay, there we go. Uh, right. So you can also crush charcoal for the same purpose. Okay. It is hot here, but that's fine. We're going to go outside, explore a little bit more. Now, at some point, you will be running out of water again. So you will want to go and explore the dark cave. So let's do that now. I'm gonna grab a piece of wood and a stick. I'm gonna go into the dark cave and prepare a campfire here. I mean, just a normal fire. And then we're gonna use the this fire to start it up. Okay, let me find my. I'm a little bit thirsty. There we go. Okay, the heat is going up, so we want to wash again. That's fine. Yeah, it's like super hot today. It is what it is. And I'm gonna wash. Good. Okay, so this thing... Let's do that. Let's turn it off. And let's actually go and explore the cave. So you will need this cave in order to get replenishing water supply. You don't know when the rain's gonna come. Keep an eye out on the bug bites. This thing always takes 15 minutes to explore. So it's actually a really good place to explore early game. So we found the unsafe water pond. And you can also find some bugs here. You can eat the bugs if you like. I think they are nutritious though, so we probably want to avoid that. Anyway, we got a pond of unsafe water here. And that's going to be our main water supply now. There. Okay, so right now we don't have like a fire going, but that's okay. Right, good, good, good. Uh, not sure what we're gonna do with the bugs. Let's make sure our wound is covered. It is 41%. Wonderful, wonderful. 
And I don't know, let's go explore a little bit or let's go grab some charcoal and ash. You know what, actually, let's go and make some more mud. Oh, it's so hot in here. If you like feel too hot, if, while you're inside, you can take some clothes off. It should help a little bit. It doesn't really help much though. Okay. It's a hot day. It's a hot, sunny, clear day. So you'll probably need to wash. Washing is probably like a... Oh, oh wait, I'm using the backpack. And I just realized we actually do have some more food. So if you want to help with the morale, you can eat that. Okay. It will slow down the obesity, obesity loss though. So it's like hard to say what's really optimal here. Anyhow, let's crash some charcoal for some ash so we can get some more mud bricks going and we can start working on a kiln. Okay. So chocolate did make us happy for a little bit, but yeah. Anyhow, very hot. Let's go and wash again. I'm gonna go grab some more water here. If you keep yourself nice and chill, you will lose less water. Of course, you want to get to the beach eventually. Beach will provide you lots of like... Um, beach will provide you salt water you can wash with, which is uh, preferable. Uh, if you find some ginger, you can use that. I find it to be really good for staving the the sleep away, so you can be more more efficient in things you do. It also helps with stress and stuff. Like it's a really good plant. So I'm gonna grab here and eat some. Maybe I shouldn't have picked up everything. Maybe I should have saved some for like planting, but that's okay. Anyway, uh, let's go here. Let's start up the fire again. There we go, we're gonna crush these. And I'm actually gonna start, I'm gonna boil up some water. And then we're gonna go and make some ginger medicine, yay. So it's been like a recent discovery of mine, how amazing ginger is. And there. Bam. I'm gonna drink one, I'm gonna drink another one and there we go. So not sure how much. So my sleeping is actually going down, even though we have ginger. Huh. That's interesting. On my other run, it's not going down. That's interesting. That's unexpected. Anyhow, we're also going to go and grab some water here. So it stops evaporating from the puddles and boil that up as well. Uh, let's see, what is our ginger... Uh, what is our ginger quantity right now? There. Maybe because we're super sleepy? Yeah, it could be. Anyhow, we need to sleep, so let's go and sleep. It's a little bit hot, so I'm gonna go and wash. Now, the tricky part here right now is surviving until the next rain. So, yeah, use the cave water, keep yourself nice and not super hot. Explore towards the beach. And pray for the rain, basically. <laughs> you can also explore and try to find some banana trees. So I got the rain on day three. So the next rain might come a little bit later than we might want it. But once it does, make sure you like build a reservoir or something. Let's see, did we unlock it? No. Uh, we need a clay vase. Yeah. So yeah, start working towards the reservoir. You're going to need that. Uh, right, let's boil that and eat some more ginger. Okay. And also we get herbology by doing that, so that's like a win-win. Okay. I'm gonna drink that. And let's prepare another dosage for later, maybe. No, no, let's not do it just yet. Okay, good enough. Uh, and now let's see. We are hot again. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna turn this fire off so we're not hot. Let's see if we have like anything we can do in the darkness. We can do that. Can we crush the charcoal? We can't do that either. Okay. We can go and take a break here. Just a little bit of meditation. Okay. Uh, yeah, I did not... Okay, cannot do like basically anything. 
Like, I know you can extract the, the fibers, but okay. I'm just gonna meditate. Be like, wah, 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 wah. Let it be. Oh, it's gonna take our clay bowl now. That's okay, though. Just make sure it doesn't take the other one, or we're gonna have to make more. It's not the end of the world. This kind of mistakes do happen. Don't worry about it too much when they do. Okay, my altered mind state is going up because of the realization. These are definitely things that you want to get rid of. We are working on getting rid of this one, though. Okay. Let's go and eat our last chocolate here. And there we go. And now we are full on fasting mode. Okay, now let's check out the wound. 1%. Okay, this is like good timing, so let's redo it. There we go. But yeah, we are on day five. So that's going to conclude this first part of the tutorial. So yeah, just tough it out. Don't worry too much if the actions are too long. You know, stay inside. Keep the bug bites bar low. Uh, do the best you can with water. So like use the find the cave. Like empty it as often as you can. Have some water inside. If you're really hot, then... Uh, yeah, if you're really hot, very hot, consider washing instead of drinking because that's better for your water situation. Like if you just drink water and you keep sweating it out, you're not achieving much. So right now we're still hot, so it's okay. And our morale is actually going up, so that's pretty good because like we are not in enough of pain right now to lose morale and we have a little bit of those left. So yeah, we basically, by not using the painkillers right away, we more or less stabilized our morale around day five. And we still have three painkillers left, which should be important to like use it once it runs out. But as soon as this thing heals to like 60, 70%, it's gonna hurt way less. And after that, you'll be fine. We're gonna start losing morale again because of the hunger. I guess you have an interesting decision to do here, like, uh, do we just eat a whole bunch of snake grass? And that's probably the one I'm gonna do. Like, gonna spend most time eating snake grass, which is not super exciting or anything, but we will unlock. Like, if these actions are 30 minutes, that's pretty good, actually. So, yeah, we're raising our herbology here, just putting something in our stomach. It is increasing our stool inconsistency, though. And the pain's back, so. <laughs> so, here I'm like trying to, like, be like, okay, we're gonna finish for today, but like, I'm having so much fun that I don't really want to stop playing here. <laughs> really enjoying this new tourist, the obese tourist, where you don't have to worry about... Okay, we're a little bit saturated with vegetables now, so let's stop with that. But yeah, eat, uh, eat, uh, eat uh, BS food, which doesn't give calories, but fills up your hunger meter. Hopefully, okay, it seems like there is no way to drop the appetite though anymore. So, because of the glutinous, like, we're gonna be hungry, like, all the time. But that's okay. That's okay. So, obesity did drop a little bit. I think we're gonna go to overweight soon, hopefully. So, that's gonna be good. But in the meantime, we're gonna keep exploring uh, with the... Hmm, we don't know how to make... Oh, we do know how to make a broom. We should definitely make a broom. But that's gonna be it for this one. Let me know what you think. Do you have some things you didn't like? I think the most important things are bugs. Everything else is like open for discussion, how it should be done or shouldn't be done. Uh, maybe you do want to feed yourself. Maybe you find a banana tree and you take advantage of it. No such luck though, right? Anyhow, have a wonderful day, everyone. Do something nice, be kind to each other and let's make the world a better place together. Uh, comment, criticize, suggest, like, subscribe. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one. The Niemers signing out. Bye-bye.